2022 Acura ILX. The 2022 Acura ILX returns with no changes, marking its 10th year on the market. The compact sedan is based on a previous generation Honda Civic, though it has been jazzed up with a few design changes. It isn't the most exciting luxury sedan, but it offers strong value. This is the last model year for the ILX as Acura makes room for a new entry-level model, the Integra. The ILX is Acura's entry-level model. At a starting price just north of $27,000, it's an affordable way into the brand. Against comparable models from BMW, Mercedes-Benz, or Audi, the ILX offers sharp styling and middling performance at a much lower price. A front-wheel drive platform means the ILX will never be a real contender for the king of sports sedans. Still, it does an admirable job balancing comfort with agility, and its dual-clutch transmission is a standout. Interior space is decent for the class, and seats are supportive. Cargo capacity is excellent for the ILX's size but practicality is limited by the lack of a split-folding rear seat. Infotainment is another weakness, a touchscreen isn't standard on base models, and even the upgraded system is clunkier than we'd like. The ILX's biggest competition may come from in-house. The latest Honda Civic rise on a newer platform, and for buyers who care more about features than badges, it's an even better deal. The 2022 Acura ILX offers a single-engine choice, its naturally aspirated 2.4-liter i4 makes 201 horsepower and 180 pounds to foot of torque, which is respectable when compared to an Audi A3 or Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Shifting duties are handled by a slick 8-speed dual-clutch automatic, and front-wheel drive is the only option. The EPA estimates that the ILX is good for 24 34 of a mile per gallon city-slash-highway. The Honda Civic is currently in its 11th generation after a redesign for the 2022 model year. The ILX is based on the Civic that was introduced in 2011, two generations back. That means the current Civic is longer and more spacious than the ILX. It has more rear legroom and an impressive cargo capacity of nearly 15 cubic feet. The Acura has more features in base form, but it costs about $5,000 more. A top trim Civic Touring costs only $1,800 more than a base ILX, and the Civic comes with Bose sound, leather upholstery, and wireless smartphone compatibility. For luxury on a budget, the Civic may be an even better buy than the ILX. The competition should get more interesting next year, when the ILX is due for an update, likely to be based on the current Civic. The ILX's safety report card is generally strong. The FS rated the ILX good in most crash categories, but subpar headlights kept the sedan from earning a top safety pick designation. The NHTSA gave the ILX a 5-star overall rating. Acura's standard suite of safety tech includes automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and lane-keeping assist. The only feature missing is blind spot monitoring, which is standard on all but the base trim. This is an area where the ILX proves its feature per dollar value, as most rivals don't make adaptive cruise control standard. The base ILX is stuck with a 5.0-inch infotainment display that isn't touch-compatible. It's controlled by old-fashioned knobs and buttons, and it feels behind the times. Upgrading to the premium trim brings a dual-screen setup with an 8.0-inch, non-touch, screen above a 7.0-inch touchscreen. It's compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but it's less intuitive than most modern alternatives. Navigation is limited to the top technology A-Spec trim. The 2022 Acura ILX comes in four trims, Base, Premium, A-Spec Premium, and A-Spec Technology. Prices start at around $27,500 and even the A-Spec technology costs well below $35,000. The base ILX is too spartan for our taste, but the higher trims hurt the value proposition. We'd split the difference with the premium trim, which gets leather upholstery in addition to the upgraded infotainment system, 